Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. We're live on Twitch today and we're going to be continuing our budget build series this time with some Rakdos budget aristocrats. So if you haven't caught any of my other build series, basically what we set out to do is start off with a deck made completely of uncommons, common, sorry, uncommons, commons, and free cards you get from the starter decks. Um, with the exception of the dual lands, so uh, Blood Crypt or Dragon Skull Summit in this case. Um, the intention here is with the mana base, just have to smooth out, be able to play what we want. From there, what we do is we move into a mid-budget uh, version of the deck. There, what we look to do is add about between, usually it's around 7 to 12 rares or mythics. And then what we do is we move into a fully tuned out version, as close to a tiered list as we can in that particular archetype. Uh, you can catch on my channel, I've done every other color pairing except Rakdos, which we're doing now, and Simic. Uh, all three variations of the deck are there. I also follow up each with a write-up on the Arena subreddit, where we cover out all the details, card choices, everything in great detail. So what we usually do is we'll play a couple matches in best of three with the deck, and then we'll play a couple matches in best of one uh, towards the latter portion of the video, uh, so you can check out everything there. For those tuning live on Twitch, uh, we replay all our we have all our replays on our YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. Uh, so you can catch everything that we stream live there as well. Um, for those watching on YouTube, if you could let me know how the quality is of the video itself. I'm trying to do stream and record at the same time to make the VODs available. Um, so just kind of playing with the settings, so feedback would be great. Um, so moving to the videos themselves. So the deck itself, uh, our Aristocrats, if you're not familiar, is a term generally afforded to decks where we sacrifice our creatures for value. Um, it's named after two creatures from original Innistrad, Ravnica Block, Cartel Aristocrat, and Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Um, it's one of my favorite archetypes, and I love brewing decks around it. Um, so the core of the deck itself, in the one drop slot, we have Grim Initiate. So first strike one power is actually kind of relevant against a lot of creatures, and when it dies, we amass one, so we get to create a token. Uh, then we have Footlight Fiend. When it dies, uh, we can ping and deal one damage to any creature. Uh, or permanent, so you can deal Planeswalkers, anything like that. Uh, we have Eternal Taskmaster, which is basically like the, a reanimate kind of effect, where we can bring stuff back to our hand. Um, we have Lazatuff Reaver, which comes in, makes a token, so multiple bodies here. Uh, there's also the kind of a mass sub-theme you have going on here. You have Orzhov Enforcer, when it dies, it leaves another body behind, and it being Death Touch can also kind of influence blockers. Uh, we have Fire Blade Artist, uh, so it's a hasty 2-2 two, two for 2, uh, and then we have the option of sacking creatures to deal damage at the beginning of our upkeep. Um, so you'll notice as we kind of go through, there's a sub-theme of actual sacrifice, uh, so I'll allude to that. So you have Heartfire that can sacrifice a creature to deal 4 damage. You have Angrath's Rampage, which forces sacrifice of your opponent's stuff. Um, you have Plague Crafter, which can make them sack creatures, planeswalkers, anything like that. You have Mayhem Devil, which is kind of rewarding us for sacrificing again. So whenever uh, an opponent sacrifices something, they have to uh, deal, well, we deal one damage, basically. Uh, we have Tybalt, which shuts off life gain and also creates tokens that when they dial, deals more damage. And then we have Angrath, which has, again, with the Amass theme, and more importantly, gives Menace, so we can poke through that little bit of damage. Um, the mana base is pretty standard. Uh, any type of creature-based deck that's kind of about killing things, I usually put in a couple Memorial to Follies. Um, sideboard, pretty simple. Duress vs. Control, Knight of Malice. I want to try this out against, like... Uh, White base deck, it could deal with, so Teferi can't bounce it, a couple things like that. Lava Coil for like Drakes or anything like that we need to exile. Davriel versus Control. And Act of Treason I like against like the ramp decks, if they have say big Hydroid Crasises or anything like that. It could kind of screw up the combat math and let us attack in for a bunch of damage. Um, so obviously in this deck here, a couple key cards we're missing are like uh, the Priest of the Forgotten Gods, uh, Judith, Midnight Reaper. Um, so stuff like that. So we're obviously going to build towards uh, a more streamlined deck as we kind of progress and get some more creatures and uh, more rarities. So we'll run it through, see how it goes. Uh, 
this. So let's run it here. So those of you tuning in live on Twitch, thanks for joining. Make sure to drop a follow if you can. It's the best way to keep up to date when we go live with the streams, as well as those that are watching on YouTube. If you can, drop a subscribe. It is a free and easy way to help support the channel. Costs you absolutely nothing and goes a long way to helping things out. That's all the pandering I will do for your free content of the day, and we'll run it out. So I like this curve here. One drop, two drop, three drop, and grass rampages removal. We'll run it out. So here, we're just going to start with Grim Initiate. So we can go, probably going to go last attack Reaver here. It gives us the most bodies on the board. This is probably the Simic ramp deck. Could just be gates. Just play this out in case they try to gain any life. So they could have a board wipe here. Sorry, just grabbing some. Okay. So against this hand right now, we can actually shock them, force them to sacrifice, and then play Fireblade Artist. So here we're kind of forcing him into Gates Ablaze. So as we wait for the opponent, so they drop a Guild Summit, they might be dead. Okay, so that can deal three damage, so then that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're one short there. We'll just decline. Ooh, another Tybalt's nice. So they can't Gates of Blaze now because they're dead. And that's why I like these little things. Okay, so. Opponents spinning their wheels. They're dead on the upkeep by us sacking one of these. Yeah. Got him. So against this matchup, I like the Act of Treasons. Probably the Duress. Maybe the Davriel. They tend to be slower. Angrath's could be cut, Eternal Taskmasters could be cut, and five more cards, probably the Heartfire. Playcrafter's not bad, they usually don't have too many creatures. Do we even want the Duress? Because this could get rid of a big Ram. But even then, the rams aren't as good on our side. Actually, on the play, uh, on the draw, we'll take them. Um, deals with their hand. Shuts off the life gain. Maybe go down a reaver, go down a dress. Try it out like that. For those who are tuning in live, where you're from, I'm always curious where the viewers are coming in from. If you drop a note in chat.
Waiting on the opponent here, obviously. Opponents taking their precious time. Surprised to see a Gates deck. They were very popular and kind of just fell off. So, opponents probably going to time out here. So this hand here, we're missing black. I'll try it out. Opponent certainly is taking their time. Can't really help them there. They're at 26 minutes, we're at 28, so... Used a, they've used a bit more time than us so far. Just hopefully end this match. Welcome to those who joined the stream. Our opponents roping us, so we'll probably just get started after this. We won game one pretty handily. Of, okay, so they're done. We'll run it through another one. As we get started, for those joining live, where you're from, what's your favorite card, and what's your favorite deck in standard right now? We are playing some black white aristocrats, or sorry, black red. Aristocrats, it's a budget build using all uncommons and uncommon. All commons and uncommons. One day I'll get that phrasing right. We've done these uh, build series a few times. Uh, we've done it for pretty much every color combination except Simic. At this point, everything's on the YouTube channel if you've missed any of it. Hopefully, the opponent's a little bit more engaged this game. Uh, this hand's a little iffy. Don't quite like it. We're going to mulligan here. Okay, sounds much better. Um, I th think we just want some more, something a little bit more impactful. Just play Memorial down there. This could be a couple different decks. I'm just gonna get aggressive here. It's most likely a Command the Dreadhorde deck. Yeah, it's Command the Dreadhorde. Um, here. So we can keep pushing in damage with the Plague Crafter. We can take a turn off. Probably just Plague Crafter here. If they had a Wild Growth Walker, they would have played it out first. Against Commander Dreadhorde, you want to deal as much damage to their... You want to deal damage to them to keep them from being able to reanimate. Have a 
Let's see what they search for here. Okay, so they're looking for the wild growth walker. We're gonna decline here. I'm just gonna go at the opponent's face. Uh, here. I think we just go wide and then we can menace next turn with the Angrath. I don't want to waste time on Tamiyo. They can gr draw into Wild Growth Walker most likely. This version is playing. Okay, so this is the. S no, it's not even Saltai. They're splashing white. So they'll play a little Teferi. Waiting on the opponent here. So they haven't found the wild growth. They got quite a few explore threats. Okay, so they found the command. Pretty ambitious. Uh, decline here. So this turn we're gonna Angrath. And then next turn Tibble to shut off any life gain they have. Be pretty sweet if we can beat this deck. This is one of the top tier decks. Tibble's main deck is really good against a Wild Growth Walker deck. For those of you who just joined the stream, uh, we're playing a strictly common and uncommon Rakdos Aristocrats deck minus the dual lands. We won the first match against a Gates deck and we're playing against four color Dreadhorde now. In my opinion, we're in a pretty good position. They can't really afford to command here. They don't have a wild growth walker in the yard and we can shut them down next turn. They're really digging for that wild growth. That's quite aggressive. You got seven life. So they Nico Bolas here. Just playing Bolus now actually is pretty scary. Uh, we'll decline here. So here, because we can't kill our opponent this turn, I just want to take Nickel Bolus off the table. Drop down the Tybalt, shut him off the life gain. I'm just going to play this out. We can start memorialing back the Playcrafters as well. But now we have at least one damage here with the sack. We can do that. That is three to them and then attack in for the rest. We also have the Footlight Fiend. Yeah. All right. Game one down. Um, against this matchup, probably want to rest. Probably want Davriel. Do you want the probably want the lava coils as well? Taskmaster's kinda slow. Angrath was really good that game. Probably the Mayhem Devils are kind of lackluster. 
That could force him to sack. Probably get rid of the heart fires. And then... Did Angrath just overperform? Minus... So they, they have Hydroid Crisis, so we need the life gain. Probably the last Tef Reaver seems the least impactful. Play like that. These games naturally go longer because they have life gain. It's probably one of the most grindy decks that in Hero. We'll keep this. Mana base is a little painful. I so I'm going to lead on Grim Initiate. Depending what they play out. If they play a Wild Growth Walker, we Lava Coil it. So hopefully they draw land here. Perfect. So we can attack into it. Um, so they could bounce with little Teferi. So the question here is, do we just duress? Probably duress. They have the cast down. They also have Massacre Girl that we need to be aware of. So cast down deals with that. Nickel Bolus is probably the worst. So here the I got the second one. Let's see if they decide to maybe double block or if they attack in. Okay, so we have the Davriel. I think we just do that. Force their hand a bit. They're gonna have to attack in. At the very worst, it's another duress and a fog. Like it's duress, and they have to attack in with both, so it's a removal spell, or they have to cast their cast down. Okay, so they get rid of interplanar beacon. Means I have to draw into land to cast Massacre Girl. That's fine. You wasted a removal spell. We'll take the trade there. Time to run. Again. Uh, so they have the walker. You always want to kill the wild growth walker, is that's what enables the command to go off. So hopefully they miss a line drop here. Massacre Girl is actually a clean answer for both halves there. Just play this out. They'll die nonetheless, but I want to try to bait them into... Dropping the Massacre Girl so we can catch it with a Plague Crafter. The graveyard's not too full right now. OK, 
Okay, so they'll be able to drop something next turn. It's gonna die anyways with Masker Girl. But I think I wanna just try to push in damage here. Take the trade there. They might opt for Nisa here. See what they do. Okay, so they go Nisa, they get a life back. do much. I think we just force him to start sacking stuff. Massacre Girl starts to become a liability because they blow up their lands. They'll sack the Paradise Druid. So we're going to hold back or off enforcer since it could block the lands pretty well. So they opt for the Massacre Girl. So they kill a land. They have the menace with that, which is pretty bad. I think we just do this again. They gotta get rid of either the land or the massacre girl. If we can get rid of massacre girl, then drop enforcer. Ooh, that seems very aggressive. for seven. Uh, I guess we're dead at this point. Yeah. Let's just see what they have in hand. Second Massacre Girl. Okay, so... What do we want instead? Heartfire might be relevant. Angrath, but we have the lava coils. I think we run it back. Being on the play should help. 
kind of got hampered on mana there. When you're only playing one turn, a spell a turn, hard to keep up. So waiting on the opponent. We are back. His hand's much more aggressive. Of note though, if they have a wild growth walker, we don't have a clean answer to it, which is a bit troublesome. Uh, we're gonna have to lead on the footlight fiend since we don't have an open Red source. They did maul and bottom, so hopefully they stumble a bit. I'm just going maximum damage here. Dreadhorde Butcher is also really good in this deck. Can get out of hand pretty quick. So we're just going to attack with the one here because I want Davriel. See if they take the trade. Do, which is sweet. That cuts him off mana as well as cuts him off being able to attack this turn. Next turn we can play out two spells. They're still a ways away from uh, Massacre Girl. Drop a Hydroid Crisis. Duress would be nice. Okay, so they've been a new gun. They might be hampered on lands, which is good for us as well. Nope. Uh, that's awkward. So here I'm just gonna play out the Reaver, play out the Initiate. So we're hoping for a little bit more. Since this game's going a bit longer, I'm probably not gonna play playing a best of one for this particular build. Um, this deck at this current iteration probably gets wrecked by Chain Whirler, which is pretty heavy, so. I will. I could probably run one. Okay, so they have the wild growth. Force them to sack something. Um, here, I can attack in with everything. They can have their block where they choose. And then I'm just going to pop the Davriel, since they'll get the attack in anyways. Empty 
without a clean answer to wild growth. Okay, so they drop the command. Of note, they don't have double green for a jade light ranger. really bad so they're gonna get a uh, folly doesn't really help here yeah I'm just gonna concede this one they have us at that point we needed an answer then either in a lava coil or like a Tybalt um, let's play a couple best of ones really quick just to showcase the deck Let me know what you think in the chat or in the comments on YouTube. If I've missed anything, if you'd add anything else to the deck. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Fentix gives us the hello. This could be a budget mana base, but punish them early, punish them hard. Could be gates. So in case they have like a sweeper this turn, we're still left with the bodies. So it's more pressure we could put on them. If not, then we're in a really good spot. Especially if we can... Okay, this, this is... Budget Jeskai Super Friends. Um, here... Just take it off the card draw. So they have Teferi, they can bounce one of our things. May have made more sense for Lazatov Reaver, because Mayhem Devil is a clear bounce. You deal 2 damage to any target, that's ah, decline. Just smash in there. Only time will tell. Just play out Angrath. This deck with tap lines is way too slow. Like they have a Clarion. We're left with three creatures. So, let's see, we sack this, it deals, that. we're basically dead. So we'll run one more quick, just so we get a feel. Alright. 
keep the sands. Uh, sure. On lead off swamp, it's hard to tell. Okay. Fine, we got Benelish there. So next turn we can Mayhem Devil into Angrath. Okay, so they're on black white aristocrats. Actually don't mind that. Um Uh, da, 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 da. Poke them for one here. So we can play this out, get our sack going. Or Tybalt is also interesting. Okay, so we can do is do this, sack this, deal one damage to any target. Uh, let's just make sure we can auto assign. I think we just Tybalt this turn. more mana efficient. Effectively what you want to do is kill this by sacking this. Our board's actually really positioned well against them right now. So they're the Tesa. So sack this. So target Tesa. Sack that. So I want to get the Midnight Reaper off. I don't want to give him two tokens. Don't hit him like that. Next turn, I'm going to sack one of these and kill both. Actually, might wait a turn, play it out of their Mayhem Devil. This matchup's actually pretty interesting. Afterlife 2. Yeah, I'll probably just set up a turn with Mayhem Devil first. 
Okay, they're gonna get rid of that. It's actually great because we can multi spell. Attacking with it both. Resolute Watchdog ends up being pretty good. We can probably just go for the face, to be honest. We don't have to get fancy and start killing these things. Deal to you, deal to you, deal to you. It's just a ton of damage. Let's make a 2 2. Um, no attacks here. I think we can just win by throwing stuff at our opponent. Hunted Witness. It's still three a turn. We can just burn him out this way. turn back so they block they block they block next turn we just attack in with everything yeah, pitless potless can then make more creatures so a little awkward so we're not really gonna attack force them to make the move I think we just take the free trades. Just go like that. It's free blocks for us. I don't really care what they kill. The walkers have done what they need to do. So if they can't deal with the Fireblade Artist, they're dead next turn. Eternal Taskmaster is good. So that lets us get back one of our burn creatures next turn. Hey, thanks for those who joined live. Where are you from? What's your favorite standard deck right now? We're just wrapping up a budget, all uncommons and commons except for the rare lands, red black aristocrats deck. So not bad. We were able to take one of three against Dreadhorde. We bet a, a couple Gates decks, a budget Jeskai Super Friends. Uh, black white aristocrats overall not too bad for the de deck that it is we're going to wrap this up now thanks for those who tuned in live and for those watching on youtube thanks for the view if you haven't done so already please make sure to hit that follow button on twitch and subscribe on youtube it goes a long way to helping out this, the channel 
Thanks for watching and have a great one.